first time ever. It's race day. The final Formula 2 Grand Prix of the 2019 season is about to start and for the first time it's held in Abu Dhabi, with world champion Rashid Al Kamsi willing to win this final round in front of his home crowd. The Abu Dhabi event itself also set the level high with a huge TV live production and on-site F2 studio. But at the end it's all about the race. So here it is the Abu Dhabi race course. The race course in Abu Dhabi with a length of 1.94 kilometers, five left and one right hand turns is one of the most technical circuits of the season. The race distance 44 laps. The race. The man on pole position is Rashid Al Kemzi, already 2019 world champion. So what to look after in this race? First of all, it's Duarte Benevente, second in the championship standings. He also starts from second spot. His goal is to secure the 2019 silver medal and making this the best result ever for the Portuguese pilot in F2. And then we have to have an eye on Ola Patterson and Ferdinand Sandbergen, who still fight for the remaining third spot on the championship podium. Both are equal on points in the standings and they will start right next to each other from 7th and 8th on the grid. Alright, there is the start for the final race of the year. 19 boats on the way to turn 1. And it's Al Kamsi and Benevente with the best start. Both are out front and almost side by side through turn number one. But Al Kamsi on the inside with better acceleration takes the lead. With Owen Jelf on third and Stefan Hagen and Tobias Mintikas fighting for fourth position. Behind these two it gets very tight, Ryabko, Patterson and Sandbergen out of turn 5, all three almost side by side. But it's Ryabko who stays in front of this group so far. But there you have it, Patterson and Sandbergen. This is not only the battle for 6th and 7th position, this is also the fight for 3rd in the championship. And Sandbergen closing up on Patterson, but the Swedish pilot can stay in front. Whoever finishes in front of these two will be on the championship podium. Meanwhile, Tobias Mintekas took out a boy at turn 1 and dropped back. And also, Owen Jelf already retired in the early stages of the race. So, the new running order are Kamsi, Benevente, Ryabko, Patterson. And also Sandbergen dropped back a position, he was passed by Latvian Nikita Lists. So for the moment it looks like Patterson is the one with all the chances for the bronze medal. Al Kamsi, who is still in the lead, could pull away from second Duarte Benevente. But behind these two, it was Stefan Hagen getting closer and closer to Edgaras Ryabko on third position. The conditions got rougher and Hagen still chasing Ryabko for third. This battle for the final podium position between Hagen and Ryabko was developing to the most intense action in this race so far. None of these two made any mistake and both were at the limit. Hagen flying over the waves in turn two, still trying to close the gap to Edgaras Ryabko. But then it was Johan Oesterberg losing control and blowing over right at turn 3. Yellow flags and time to breathe for Ryabko and Hagen. But also Al Kamsi's advantage over Benevente was gone when all boats lined up for the restart. Oesterberg was okay after the crash but the race over for the Swedish pilot. And there is Tobias Mintekas pulling off the race course. Technical problems stopping the Norwegian pilot from finishing this final race in 2019. The restart and once again Al Kamsi stays in the lead. Benevent <laughs> oh, 
Trente second. Also, Riabko keeps his third position. But Sandbergen got a perfect start, pulls ahead of Nikita Lisch and is now side by side with Patterson into turn four and there is a collision but both continue now Sandbergen in front of Patterson and there Sandbergen rolls over right in the turn so yellow flags up again and this means Sandbergen is out of this race and also out of the race for third in the championship but we have to have a look what happened after the restart, Zandbergen on the outside, Patterson on the inside and here both colliding but continue the race. And then Zandbergen rolls over on his own without involving anybody else. But hard to see in the picture, Pedersen hit the engine of Sandbergen's boat right after he turned over, so also Pedersen now with a damaged boat. At first he tries to continue, but the damage was too big, so the Swede also pulled out of the race. Both Zandbergen and Pedersen don't score points here in Abu Dhabi, what means that Ola Pedersen will be third in the championship and also Duart Benavente is now second overall. But still, this race is not over yet. The restart and again it's Al Kamsi who stays in the lead. Benaventa second and again Hagen putting up the pressure on Ryabko. The fight for third not over yet. Hagen keeps pushing and coming closer and closer again. But the time runs out and here is the checkered flag and Rashid Al Kamsi wins his home Grand Prix in front of Duart Benevente on second and at Garas Ryabko third. What a race and world champion Rashid Al Kamsi ends this season with yet another start finish victory. And what a season for Team Abu Dhabi and Rashid Al Kamsi. Four wins in five races, only beaten by Stefan Hagen at the Grand Prix of Norway. Five pole positions and of course the World Championship title 2019. I look like a superstar in my home. Uh, I like this win. I do a very great job in front of my uh, family and uh, in my home. And also Duart Benavente, who finished second in the race and second overall in the championship, posts his best ever result in Formula 2. It was a really nice weekend for us. Um, a nice season in Formula 2. I have to thank all my sponsors, my team. Mr. David Moore from Moore Formula, Van Eichelen Services, Dave DeWald, uh, many people uh, uh, that helped me during the season and uh, yes, we are happy. The most intense fight in this race had at Garas Ryabko and Stefan Hagen, with Hagen joining Team Dillard and racing a DAC boat for the first time here in Abu Dhabi, so this result was more than he ever expected. My goal just was bring the boat ho home and uh, make as much time as I can in the cockpit and now I finished fourth so uh, I'm mega happy with this result. Edgaras Ryabko seemed to be back on track here in Abu Dhabi finishing third even though this was not an easy one for him. I think it was five or six laps after uh, after second restart three was not working. <laughs> I was so lucky that it's like in the middle so I could run fast speed but in the corner I had to play with the accelerator but uh, for sure I'm very very happy it was a very tough weekend today I had in the practice one problem one issue with the reads but we changed it and everything went well so I'm super happy. But Ryabko couldn't stay that happy when it came to the technical inspection after the race. The technical commissioner decided Ryabko's engine didn't conform to the rules. The result? Ryabko was disqualified and it was Stefan Hagen who was promoted third. With this result, Hagen missed third place in the championship by just two points. So now, with Al Kamsi receiving his championship gold, the 2019 season is over. I say thank you for following us and I hope you enjoyed this spectacular year of Formula 2 racing.
Stay tuned for more action to come in 2020 and keep following F2 on Facebook, YouTube and F2WorldChamp.com. Wow, 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 wow.